This is Akashwani, the news read by Priya Badu. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday said that 700 lakh metric tons of grain storage facilities will be built across the country in the next five years under the world's largest grain storage plan. He said to build this mega infrastructure, over 1,25,000 crore rupees will be spent in the coming years. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of multiple key in- initiatives for the cooperative sector in New Delhi. On this occasion, the Prime Minister inaugurated the project for computerization in 18,000 primary agricultural credit societies across the country aimed to empower the small and marginal farmers. He also inaugurated the pilot project of world's largest grain storage plan in cooperative sector, which is being done in 11 primary agricultural credit societies of 11 states. He also laid the foundation stone for an additional 500 packs across the country for the construction of go-downs and other agricultural infrastructure. The Assam government has decided to repel the Assam Muslim Marriage and Divorce Registration Act 1935. The decision was taken in the cabinet meeting held in Guwahati last night. Assam Tourism Minister Jayanta Malla Barua informed that the Assam Muslim Marriage and Divorce Registration Act 1935, on the basis of which 94 Muslim registrars registrars had even now been doing the registration and divorce of Muslim marriages in the state has been repealed. He said that after this, Muslim marriage registration or divorce registration cannot happen through the Act. The Assam government is to provide one-time compensation of 2 lakh rupees to the Muslim marriage registers for their rehabilitation. In a social media post, Chief Minister Hemanta Bishwa Sarma said that the Assam cabinet made a significant decision to repel the age-old Assam Muslim Marriages and Divorces Registration Act. He added that this act contained provisions allowing marriage registration even if the bride and groom had not reached the, the legal ages of 18 and 21 as required by the law. The chief minister further said that this move marks another significant step towards prohibiting child marriages in Assam. The cabinet also introduced six tribal languages, Missing, Rabha, Karbi, Tiva, Dewri and Dimasa as a medium of instruction as per the new education policy 2020. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has approved a financial incentive for the armed forces personnel who backed medals in the 19 Asian Games and fought Asian Para Games held in Hangzhou, China last year. As per the Defense Ministry, gold medal winners will receive a cash reward of 25 lakh rupees each, Silver medal winners 15 lakh rupees each and bronze medal winners will get 10 lakh rupees each for both Asian Games as well as Asian Para Games. This includes athletes who won 80 medals in the Asian Games and 7 medal games and 7 medals in the Asian Para Games. The ministry said that the financial incentive for the armed forces personnel for the first time will further motivate the athletes to exhibit an even better performance at qualifying events of the Paris Olympics Game 2024 for which they are currently preparing. In the men's FIH Hockey Pro League, India will take on Australia at the Birsa Munda Hockey Stadium in Raukela, Orissa tonight. The match will start at 7.30 p.m. Currently, the Indian men's team stands fourth in the points table, while Australia stands stands second. In their next match, the men in blue will face Ireland at the same venue. The Election Commission of India has directed state governments to ensure that officers who are transferred out of the district after completing three years, are not posted in another district within the same parliamentary constituency. In an official notification today, ECI has directed states and union territories to implement this policy in both letter and spirit. The Election Commission informed that the states and union territories that comprise up to two parliamentary constituencies are exempted from this rule. The decision comes in view of the cases wherein offices are being transferred or posted in the adjacent districts within the same parliamentary constituency, by the state governments. It informed that the rule applies retrospectively to transfers and postings that have already been implemented in accordance with the Commission's prior instructions. ECI has said that as per its policy, all the officers who were either posted in their home district or have completed three years at a place have been directed to be transferred. It said that this rule includes officers who are in any way connected to the election work either directly or in a supervisory capacity. ECI reiterated that there has been a zero-tolerance policy of the Commission against disturbing the level playing field in the elections. That is all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.